HGI is a hydroxyl generating company who's, who's actually evolved from kind of a odor stink company to kind of a high technology company. Uh, we have spent quite a bit in research into uh, developing hydroxyl generating uh, you know, properties in order to attack various problems and applications. Hydroxyl generator is actually a device that we actually are emulating what the sun is doing outside in nature indoors. We're basically creating the same type of environment in order to split a hydrogen molecule off a water vapor in order to form a hydroxyl radical. And in doing so, we were able to take that, put some energy imparting into that, and actually expel that into the environment. And it's that radical that actually is cleaning up your environment as it does outdoors, but we're doing it indoors. In the uh, industrial line, we uh, have, have done many different applications. And one of the ones that actually has been kind of one of the more exciting things that we've done here at HDI is actually in the beer industry. And, and it, it got into an issue where they had a problem with maintaining uh, biologicals and bacteria on their, on their manufacturing and filling line. And as we kind of evolved into that environment, we started doing additional testing, and we found a lot of different problems in that line, and we were able to actually address those, particularly in with the, our hydroxyl generating uh, equipment. Um, and it was kind of an interesting case in that uh, as the project kind of evolved, we were able to um, not only learn from what was in that environment, but actually instruct the customer as to what was going in that environment, which helped them improve their processes, and, and therefore uh, ended up giving them an additional cost savings. Uh, basically, we're mainly hitting the filling lines, and what they do on the filling lines is either they're filling cans or bottles of beer with, with beer. And in doing that, uh, the concern is, is, is introducing bacteria in that process. So what we're doing is actually doing, and we're injecting into the filtration system of the air system, uh, the air handling system, I should say, and actually creating this, this environment where we're actually keeping it sterile while the beer is being filled. The uh, breweries are experiencing, the, the specific brewery that we've been dealing with uh, has actually gotten a payback less than a month on our equipment. And it really has to do with the high volume that we're able to keep their equipment up running we're also allowing them to take less time in cleaning their, their, their equipment between uh, changeovers from you know, beer product to beer product. And, and in that process is, is the true savings. Along with that is we're actually doing additional things with uh, water savings. So therefore we're reducing their chemical usage that they're using, they used to be using for sanitization. Uh, now they're able to reduce that. Uh, typical lines run anywhere between 1,000 to about 2,000 bottles or cans a minute. So therefore you can accelerate that up, you know, times 60 across the board. So every minute of production time is significant revenue. Uh, we were first introduced in the brewery industry uh, with a particular problem. And one of the things that we knew that we could deal and address was the ability to help with bacteria. One of the things that the beer industry has, or one of the problems was that they were concerned about cleaning processes. And one of the things that we first ended up doing was reducing their cleaning time between uh, I'll call runs. So what would happen in typically in, a beer in, in the beer industry in this particular line is that they would be running continuously until their bacteria counts got up to a certain level and then they'd have to clean. But what they discovered was not only were we able to extend that period of time, but we were also allowed to reduce the amount of time they would clean. What they'd find out is that the, the uh, materials or whatever was being spilled, the beer that was you know, flying all over the place uh, as these lines uh, would, would be running, wasn't causing the growth on them. So therefore, they were able to take the cleaning time down to 12 hours, down to less than four hours, uh, purely on just the ability to be able to wash down the stuff as opposed to scrubbing it off because of the growth. Then we got into other issues in the brewery that came into light. Once we saw that and they saw the results that were coming in there, and we've discovered some other additional things that were going on in a brewery, and we actually taught the customer by going through and sampling and some of the stuff that we did with hydroxyls that we were actually uh, solving some other problems, which allowed them also to reduce their, their sanitation, which they were using chlorine dioxide and water uh, to get that down to where we're actually reducing it down to around 50%, you know, for sanitation. So not only did we extend the time between they were able to run you know, to keeping the line sanitized, we were also be able to, when it was down, to keep that, the cleaning time down uh, significantly.
A typical uh, bottling line, particularly in the breweries, is running anywhere between 100,000 to about 120,000 bottles or cans of beer an hour of production. So therefore, uh, every hour we save, typical, uh, you know, in, in any beer is, is about a dollar revenue per can or bottle. So therefore, we're saving over about 100,000 to 120,000 dollars per hour.